Philippians 2, 8 says, um, Paul's talking about Jesus. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. My grandma died about 10 years ago of ALS, and it was just... The whole thing sucked. She was amazing. Everyone loved her. She led so many people to Christ. And all of a sudden, her body stopped working from toes to head and everything in between. And then she was gone, and she was with our Savior. And we all got around at her funeral, and I got to share. And you know what's interesting about a funeral? You never talk about the way the person died. We didn't talk about ALS. We didn't talk about loss of hand function, loss of voice, when she could only nod. At a funeral, you don't talk about how someone died. You talk about how they lived. But you know what's crazy? It isn't like that with Jesus. In fact, as a Christian, it's, it's, it's the opposite. We do talk about how he lived, of course, but we talk about how he died. We make ourselves remember. No one stands at a graveside and thinks about those last moments where their loved one died in a car crash, God forbid, or of cancer, or of any horrible thing. But with Jesus Christ, we not only focus on how he died, we remember how he died. Philippians 2.8 says that he was obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross, that horrible Roman torture device that's become a piece of jewelry. Don't let that just be a symbol. That's a horrific blood-stained piece of wood. And when you remember it, that says something about Jesus. That he willingly did that. Jesus said, no one takes my life from me. I lay it down. There's something unbelievable about that. That we choose to remember how he died. And there is power for us there. Because he sacrificed himself for us. I love that verse, Philippians 2.8.